Gabbard, how are you doing? How you doing, Simon? What have we got that's really good today? Um, well, there's some beautiful locally grown um, baby carrots. Have oh, a look at these little babies. Look at the size of that. Let me feel They're that. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, that's so firm. They're fantastic. They certainly aren't are. They? Oh, they'll be on the menu for sure. Hey, but um, this taste of Thai night, how are you setting up the room? Well, I was thinking open face rounds, five of them. One, two, fifth one down here. The trestles for you to work on. All the PowerPoints over here. How many staff we got running tonight? Two waitresses and myself. All right, busy one tonight. Yeah, chef, what have we got on? Right, tonight, Rye, I've got the uh, taste of Thai on. We've got the prawn baskets for an entree, chicken, fish for main, and the sticky black pudding for dessert. But I want you to concentrate on tonight the uh, bruschetta, smoked salmon pizzas. Evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Simon Watkins. I'm the executive chef of the Grand Chancellor Hotel. I'd like to welcome you all this evening to our Taste of Thai Night. For the main course this evening, we've got a uh, butterfly chicken breast that we're going to marinate with a Thai green curry paste. And in that curry paste, we've got some shallots, peeled garlic, a little bit of lemongrass. Then we're going to add some fresh green chilies, uh, turmeric just to give it some colour, lime leaves. We're going to blend all these flavours together. And it's going to give us this rich, spicy taste to marinate our chicken in. Brian, can you pass me five prawns, please? Yes, sir. Thank you. I came up with an idea where I take a seasonal dish and I invite guests to watch me prepare it using professional tricks of the trade and presentation skills. We serve them a three course meal with wine and wine notes. We have different themes for each night including Indian, Greek and Italian. Tonight the theme is Thai, hence the name Taste of Thai. So you come along, you get recipes, you get my cooking demonstration, you get a three course meal, you learn about wines and there's also a chance to win a prize. We've got 14 chickens we need to put in, 15 plates of pumpkin, yes, sir. Yep. Uh, the green beans, right, and we've got 21 fish. How many portions you got in there? 12. Twan, how are you going? Very good, sir. Dave, you okay? You alright, fellas? Yes, sir. Don't overcook those beans. Yes, sir. I'm always shouting orders across the kitchen because I can't be in two places at once, but my mind is always on a couple of jobs at once, and I'm always thinking a couple of days ahead. My job is not just cooking, I run the whole kitchen. Yeah, hi, it's uh, Simon here from the Grand Chancellor Hotel. Can I have five punnets of alfalfa sprouts, one box of broccoli, four kgs of green capsicum, red capsicum, tomatoes, bananas, rock melon, pineapples. That's for today. Thank you very much. Bye. Right, OK. Twan, prawns in. Yep. Rye, dressing. I'll do the lettuce garnish and the lemon on the top. OK, just drizzle it around so it looks like this. OK. My advice to anyone that wants to be a chef is you should do two weeks of work experience. Within the first 15 minutes, the chef will know if you can do it, and within the first couple of weeks, you will know if you like it. I did a lot of work experience, and that put me in a good position to get an apprenticeship. Get the small flipper, it'll be easier than that big thing. Is that easier? Uh, yep. One of my guys is doing a pre-apprenticeship at the moment. They'll start by washing dishes, then if they're fast enough and they've got a bit of skill, I take them on in the kitchen using a knife. Then six months down the track, if they're still performing and I have a position for them, I'll employ them as an apprentice chef. An apprenticeship takes four years. When they complete it, they can go and work anywhere in the world. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. You can always apply your broad range of skills you have developed as a chef to your own business. For example, a cafe, a restaurant, a catering company, a motel, a hotel. You can work as a personal chef, tour with racing teams, work on rock bands. There are many very exciting opportunities. A customer makes a judgement about a meal from the way it looks before they even have one mouthful. So good presentation is essential. I would like people to reuse disciplines I teach them down the track. People do recognise me and say hi. Just because the first day they were in the industry, I came and said hello and showed them around. I think a buddy when you're starting a new job really helps to make you feel comfortable and in turn makes you perform better. With desserts, I try and think of things that people haven't seen before without scaring them, of course. Flavours must blend well and subtlety is the key. I'm always popping into gourmet stores to find new products. Hey Richard, uh, how, how you doing, you going, right? Simon? Very well, thank you. Yeah. What do you got for us today? Um, 
got something new in. We've got some olive oil and some ducker from Margaret River, if you'd like to have a look at that. It's a really nice extra virgin. Fantastic. Uh, it's What's a the flavour like? It's a very grassy flavour. Yeah. It's frantoyo, so it will also have a lot of fruit to it. But uh, you'll uh, see the depth in it when you try it. Oh yeah, and what, what, sort of, what sort of nice breads have you got to dip with this in? Well, we've got some sensational bread from Barrett's. Probably our most popular bread here. Dip it in some olive oil and then in their beautiful dukkha. Dukkha. Be nice for dinner tonight. When I'm not working, I try not to think about cooking, but won't be able to walk past a cookbook in a store without at least having a quick look. It's very satisfying when you get the job done under pressure, or when someone you've trained does really well, or you receive a compliment from a customer, or you get the chance just to be that little bit creative.